I hope you got your shitting pants on. What? Your shitting pants. I hope you're wearing them right now. Because you are about to shit your pants. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be giving my predictions for Season 8 of The Walking Dead as I break down and analyze the most recent official Comic-Con trailer that was just released today. With that being said, a warning of spoilers for everything in the show up to Season 8 and let's jump right into this. The trailer opens with a scene from the comics as Negan tells Gabriel that he hopes that he's ready to shit his pants and I'll be getting more into comic book related material in my next video, but I just wanted to mention that this was quite the interesting way to start off the trailer as Negan actually said all of this to Dwight in the comics and not Gabriel. Next here we get a lot of random shots between our main characters as they're preparing for All Out War. I'm unsure of how much preparation the beginning of Season 8 will take up, but I'm sure that we'll see Rick's initial attack on Negan during the Season 8 premiere, so no worries there. So first off, the trailer cuts to Rick Grimes standing in the sun, and I assume that this is either him giving a speech to his people, or him standing outside the sanctuary walls, preparing to attack it. Carl is creeping around some deserted cars, and we can see him creeping around them a few times in the trailer, but with not much explanation. Next is a close-up of Morkin's face as he's waiting or thinking, along with Rick and Maggie waiting outside of a wall, and I'm not sure where this is, but the sanctuary maybe, or possibly an outpost. Anyways, as Ezekiel is walking past all of his people in the kingdom, I assume that he'll be rallying them together alongside Rick's and the hilltops. Daryl is taking a drink of something while he watches a huge horde walk past what looks like a few bikes that just crashed into a car, but I don't think that's what happened, I'm pretty sure that's an explosion that Daryl caused. Now, Daryl, Carol, Tara, and Morgan are out on a mission during this trailer, and it's to direct a horde of walkers directly to the sanctuary. More on this in my next video as well, but that's why Daryl is causing so many explosions throughout the trailer, at least in my opinion. Michonne and Rosita drive in a car as Michonne looks out the window, and we don't really see much more from them aside from once more later on. What are they trying to accomplish together? Meanwhile, we see Enid in chest armor standing on the wall of the hilltop, and isn't that where Cal should normally be? He left at the end of last season to take Gregory somewhere, probably to talk to Simon, and we still don't know the conclusion of that, but we do see Gregory alongside Maggie later in the trailer at hilltop, so we know that he eventually comes back. In the next few scenes, we get Aaron contemplating something with blood on his hands, and I just wanted to quickly point out how I love the way his character has been evolving. Aaron is truly becoming one of Rick's most reliable friends, and I would very much enjoy to see his character on the forefront in the episodes to come. So as we watch Dwight opening a note by a bike tire, it's probably a secret note from our main group of survivors. I assume that Dwight will be our inside man from the saviors, but we are unaware as to how he will be communicating with Rick and friends. The note says tomorrow, so I guess they're warning Dwight of when they're going to attack the sanctuary? Then we get a pan shot of an empty room and a hallway with a light flickering, and I'm pretty sure that that's an outpost that our main group attacks eventually. We also get a cut of a black revolver with tallies marked on it, possibly how many people the gun has killed. Daryl turns out to be the one holding the pistol, as it's the one that he uses to shoot the explosion, so could it also count the number of explosions that he needs to shoot along the way?
And so as the quick cuts continue, we see someone walking down a double door hallway, except this one is completely dark, aside from the two main doors leading outside at the end. Again, probably an outpost. We see a walker caught in some sort of man-made trap in the woods, along with someone spying on people at night. Then we see that someone is also staring at Aaron through binoculars while he drives a car that has a freaking wall bolted to the side of it. I think that's freaking awesome. Next, the trailer cuts to someone trying to cut off their hand restraints and then it cuts to an eye peeking out of a shipping crate. Is this the same person that we just saw spying previously? We later see them from the inside without a shirt on and let me know who you think it is down in the comments section below. When I first met him, Jesus said my world was going to get a whole lot bigger. We found that world. We found each other. Maggie's with Gregory standing with a bunch of people at the hilltop, and it looks like everyone is meeting at the hilltop preparing to go fight as a bunch of trucks are driving into the place as we also get a shot of Jerry with Gabriel as well. Rick finally starts talking, and he mentions the famous line of Jesus telling Rick that his world is going to get a whole lot bigger. Rick starts explaining that this larger world is theirs to use by right, and that they will end people who steal and kill. As Rick says this, we see Daryl, Tara, Morgan, and Carol standing on a walkway looking at a building, along with Jesus hiding a big container with gas on top of it in a cardboard box. Now originally I thought it was just supplies, but after watching the trailer through, I believe that there's explosives in the container as we later see Daryl driving by it on his motorcycle while aiming at the whole time and then shooting at it behind him causing a huge explosion. Next, it cuts to a group of our survivors walking down a road in formation with vehicles, and so is this everyone that met at the hilltop on their way to attack the sanctuary? The trailer then cuts away to Jerry thanking Ezekiel for being such a cool dude as they're exhausted and covered in blood, and I thought that it was just such a hilarious yet interesting moment to throw in there. That bigger world is ours by right. Those who use and take and kill. We end them. Thank you, Your Majesty. For what? For being such a cool dude. As Rick finishes his motivational speech, we see everyone preparing for an attack as the trailer speeds up action and starts revealing a lot more to us. Now earlier we saw Carol leaning against a highway barrier with Tara beside her eating licorice and writing something in a notebook, and the trailer now reveals that they're just passing time while a huge horde of walkers travel under them on the road below. I believe that this is the same horde that they found back in Season 7B on the highway, and that it's the horde that they're directing at the sanctuary in order to give Negan his own version of No Way Out. With everything we've beaten, everything we've endured, everything we've risen above, everything we've become, no matter what comes next, we've won. We've already won! Next, Maggie mentions that she's been fighting since the farm, and that she won't stop now. I enjoy it when they mention things that happened in previous seasons, especially because they only do it when it has a really good reason to it. Next, it jumps to Morgan playfully fighting against Jesus in the woods, and we see this a few times, I'm not too sure why, but it'll definitely be interesting, along with Enid asking Aaron to let her come along with him since she wants them to win. Is Aaron standing beside that car that we saw him driving earlier with the wall on the side of it? And so next we see Rick getting in a fist fight with a random enemy, most likely either a savior or one of Jadis's junkyard people. Then we see Michonne firing off some shots, along with Ezekiel and his men popping up from the ground, shooting their rifles. I've been fighting since the farm. Can't stop now. We need to win. Let me come with you. I need to correct you on that point. We need to keep our faith in each other. If we can hold on to that with everything we have, the future is ours. The world is ours. Next, Simon is talking to someone within a huge group of saviors, including Gavin and a rod. And then we see savior Jared outside of what looks like the hilltop as he's smiling and laughing to himself. 
so we're getting a lot more shots of the saviors, along with our survivors fighting against them as I believe that Ezekiel and his men are shooting against some sort of outpost, and I think that Simon and his group of saviors are stuck inside the sanctuary along with Negan. And then we get a quick glimpse of Jadis as she signals her people to wait, so who is talking to them? And so as Carol is in the middle of the kingdom, she tells Jerry and Benjamin's younger brother to cover their ears, so what is Carol shooting at? Is it a zombie or just target practice? Maybe she's trying to prove a point to Jerry and Benjamin's younger brother about guns or something? Shiva is then shown attacking zombies while Ezekiel tells Carol to trust the king. By the way, the zombies look absolutely amazing in this season, just as they always do. Over your ears. Trust the king. We pin the mini takes care of itself. That's the plan. And on this day, we begin to reshape this world. And so as we hear Aaron yelling, we pin them in, it takes care of itself, and that's the plan. It just further confirms that they're shooting up the sanctuary in order to attract a horde of zombies to it, just like in the comics. We get another glimpse at the person meeting with the junkyard people, and I honestly can't tell who it is. They're wearing all black, so maybe Eugene? It's possible that they're just having a meeting as well, but once again, let me know what you guys think. So I absolutely hate how Morgan said I don't die, because now that means that he's probably going to die. God damn it, Morgan, why did you have to jinx yourself like that? We get a lot of walker killing action as we also get clips of them continuing to shoot up the sanctuary, along with a bunch of people getting gunned down in a field and I'm unsure of who they are, but it looks like they have kingdom armor on. I don't die. <laughs> The action sequences end with a lot of shots going off, first starting with Rick shooting in a building that I assume is an outpost. Although a lot of this trailer was just a lot of build up, I'm still really happy with the way it turned out. It's built up the idea for the first few episodes of season 8, while giving us an idea of what to expect without spoiling too much. I love Rick's speech and the way it synced up with the trailer as they always do an amazing job with the intense and meaningful dialogue. There's also quite a few funny moments in here as well, such as Jerry talking to Ezekiel in the middle, along with Negan at the beginning as well to be honest. I also love the post end card scene which I'll be discussing in an entirely separate video but that's pretty much it for this video guys. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today or even subscribe for more Walking Dead content in the near future. As always I thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll talk to you guys later, peace out.